And this morning's Health Watch, do food dyes make children hyper? Today, an FDA panel is addressing that question that first came up back in the 1970s. Consumer groups claim the dyes trigger behavioral problems. The food industry insists they're safe, and registered dietitian Cynthia Sass is here with what you need to know this morning. We've got, of course, a full lineup of foods that we're going to talk about in a couple of seconds. But mm -hmm. good morning to you. First good morning. All, what, is the, what does the research show about this link between hyperactivity in kids and artificial food dyes? Well, the research shows that for kids who have ADHD, um, exposure to certain food additives, including some preservatives and food dyes, can exaggerate their symptoms. And when they're taken away, their symptoms improve. So right now, the research isn't looking like these cause hyperactivity, but they can certainly exaggerate it in those kids. Why is it, this a question that's been out there for so long? We talk about you know, it first came up back in the 1970s. What, what, what is the real issue at play here? Well, there's some newer research. And in fact, in Europe, they now have warning labels on the foods that contain dyes that say that they may have an adverse effect on activity and attention in children. Children. So in Europe, they're a little bit more apt to put these okay. warnings when they have preliminary studies. Now, for the first time, the FDA is looking at this and saying there may be an issue here, and they're exploring whether or not we should restrict the use of these dyes, put a warning label on the food, or do we just need more research? Okay, so essentially the FDA is not willing to cop to it, but they're going to say at least let's take a look at it and yeah, see there's something what going on. Out there. Let's are, take a closer look. Are there some artificial dyes? little bit more, I guess, severe than others? Uh, not necessarily, but the use of them has really exploded. So uh, in the United States, the approval of the amount of dyes that are used in food has quadrupled in oh. recent years. So we're oh. seeing them in everything from candy to chips to, you know, cereal, um, all kinds of snack foods. They're pretty ubiquitous in the food supply. Yeah, there's been a push for more natural foods out there. Yes. And I guess this would be the unnatural, but this is kind of, this is a little bit more along the natural line. Those I, are and certainly... that still doesn't look great for you, but... Yes, there's still certainly processed foods, but those foods do not have any artificially colored um, additives in the, in the food at all. Yeah. As a dietitian, I mean, how concerned would you be? Because you look at this stuff that's on the table here, and I know all the kids are probably... As an adult, I'm more drawn to, the, to, to those foods <laughs> The bright over there. colors, yeah, right. exactly. You know, really, it's a bigger issue of nutrition. Kids who are eating these artificial and processed foods are really lacking out on the important nutrients in whole foods. Yeah. So if you're a parent and you're concerned about hyperactivity, because according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 10% of children in the U.S. have been diagnosed with ADHD. So if you're concerned about that, or even just being a parent in general, move away from the processed foods, limit or restrict their use, and, you know, have your kids gravitate more towards the yeah. whole foods, the how, fruits, the vegetables. But how difficult is that? I mean, this is your business. How difficult is it to get the kids to go to the more natural, I guess the more natural side, the good side of the forest? They're <laughs> certainly not as bright and colorful, but you can see that in some cases, like the macaroni and cheese, there's very little difference here. And a lot of these, if you look at the packaging, it's very kid-friendly marketing. Yeah. So as long as the outside of the package looks good, the food tastes good, and it's similar in terms of texture to what they're used to, you may be able to get them to switch over. We actually talked about that last week. It's like the packaging that has lions and tigers. Yeah, right. and all Koala bears. <laughs> The happy, bears. happy animals on it. Um, if you're a concerned parent, I mean, what, what do you tell your kids to help them avoid some of the bad stuff? The number one thing to do is read the ingredient list because yeah. if there's anything artificial in the food, including the color, it must be listed in the ingredients. So go beyond the calories, the fat grams, the sugar, look right at the ingredient list and read it and look for those artificial dyes. Okay, wonderful. Cynthia Sass, good to see you. Thanks you so too, much. Thanks.